OG here. Instead of doing a grammatical blog for the Legends Ball Hockey Tourney, tourney I've decided to do a video blog. So I hope you all enjoy it. It's a little after three on Friday afternoon and we're getting ready to leave the Quad Cities. If my boss is watching, it's a little, actually a little after five and I'd prefer to get paid for that overtime as such. So I hope you follow along and you enjoy. Hopefully at the end I've got a cigar, maybe a couple beers at the end of this journey. If not, I'll throw my teammates under the bus like usual. So, uh, like I said, go after 320, trying to beat the snow, but that ain't happening as usual. And oh, and guess what? The brakes are squealing, according to my wife. <laughs> Who would have thunk that? So, follow along, enjoy, and let's have a few laughs, I hope. Okay. So, two and a half hours later, here we are. Holiday in because only first class for my family. The bed sucks. You suck. <gasps> so, we're on our way to eat, but I figured just let you know we're safe and sound for the uneventful trip. I only heard, are we there yet? Three or four times, so not too shabby. <laughs> I think... Outside, if I how the fuck do I turn this around? You can't here, just turn it so uh, it faces like that. I think Selena and Troy are over there. This could be wrong. Right there. Yeah, they're at the Comfort Inn. This is the Holiday Inn. So I believe we play Venom first at ten o'clock. I don't know nothing about them. Except they in trouble. <laughs> That's a good Charles Barkley line when they played Angola. In the Team USA. He's like, I don't know nothing about them, but they in trouble. And they were. So, I'll see you down at the rink. A little past my bedtime is 10 o'clock. But, uh, we can manage this. Can I help you? New camera angles, please. Everything's weird about this. <laughs> Alright. Peace out. From the Holiday Inn. Arlington Heights, Illinois. Turns out Venom can play. We lost 5-1, was it? Yep. That's unfortunate. I thought we did some good things. Most of my teammates did. I did not, I believe. Nate Whelan played a great game and goal, so we'll give it a go tomorrow and learn. So that's a wrap for night one. Uh, the, our racist team, the Quad Cities, the playing way tees, they lost five <laughs> nothing previously. That's about Would you all call I them got. a racist team? Well, plain white tees is kind of racist, right? Yeah. So, right over there. Show the bed. That's usually where the magic would happen, but no. Kids are here. Yes, they are. That's, that's that time of the month, anyways. No, it's not. <laughs>
So, guess I'll look forward to the spread tomorrow morning. When you're a guy, a spread is always a good thing, right? Because it means bacon, sausage. Right? It's coming so something else. <laughs> so, we'll see you tomorrow for day two. Hopefully, I have better news for you. Good night. OG here, it's day two, 3.20 in the afternoon. Taking a little drive downtown Arlington Heights here. But this is the horse track that's gonna become possibly Soldier Field. And by then, Justin Field should have taken the Bears to about three or four Super Bowls by the time it's built. But I'll certainly miss it. It was a nice bet on the ponies every now and then. That was a fun place. It was, so it might even be more fun or more depressing. I guess we'll find out. But today we take on the Warbirds first, and then at 8 o'clock we take on the Assassins, so. Turn right onto South Consumers Avenue. Okay, thank and you. turn right. So hopefully uh, we pull out a couple W's. Over here is a mail distribution facility. I bet old John Elder gets a woody when he sees that. He probably grabs right. Gavin and by the arm. <laughs> Look at here, son. That's a real mail distribution facility. This is the bigs. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, so hopefully we go 2 0. Good luck to our plain white tees. So they take on the assassins. Oh, there's a hell of a spot there. Right. So, I'll talk to you all later. Saturday night, 10.30, second day of attorney is done. Oh, this is brought to you by the Red Roof Inn where they leave the light on because if it's not, someone might get murdered in the dark of night. Motel 6 leaves the light on. That's Red Roof Inn. Nope. What do they do? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> hmm. You just okay. have a Red Roof so you know what they are. No, they have a slogan. Hotel 6 will leave the light on for you. Man, do you miss the days when you could just do whatever you want, like smoke in bed? <laughs> do you want one? <laughs> Thank you. Huh? I do. You're too young, kid. <laughs> 21. Let's spend a night. Well, let's talk about the action, huh? Whoa, Nelly. You got that? Mm -hmm. Uh see, playing gray white tees, they lost both their games to the Assassins and to the Stingrays. Stingrays got some Waterloo folks on their team. And Brendan and Keith. Brandon. Yeah. So that's cool. And then the ballers, which I'm on. We lost a close game to the Warbirds. I think that was our best game yet, don't you? Yes, that was the best. Or maybe the Warbirds' worst game. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and then that night we got assassinated by the assassins. Yes, you did. Bad. Like 5-1 or something? I think it was 5 nothing. Was it? Yeah, I guess we didn't get a goal, so that sucks. This is depressing. Mm hmm this is so humble, you real quick, five on five, Will. What's sad is this is the best year that he's had so far. So that sets up tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, I believe, a Quad City matchup. Plain white tees versus the QC Butlers. Mm -hmm. So whoever loses has to pay double the toll on the way home. Is that how it works? I think whoever loses should have to pay the tolls for the team that wins. Whoever loses first gets to go home early. That's not too bad. Yep, and your vacation ends soon. Mm -hmm. So we'll give it the old college try tomorrow, I guess, huh? I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Five on five is different for real, man. These assassins... They can move. They can play. They are fast. I'm so depressed. I'm just going to eat the cigarette. 
So that's a wrap for night number two. I don't have anything else to you. No. You gotta wake up early because mm. that's what winners deserve. To wake up and play at the crack of dawn. So I'll see you tomorrow for day three, Championship Sunday, as they call it. And hopefully, uh, good things for the ballers to win races. Race. Racism in the Quad Cities, right? Or just all in general. Just playing my teases, like I said. <laughs> but they got some talent. They got some players from Waterloo. Their goalie's phenomenal. The guys from QC seem to be picking it up. So we'll have a battle on our hands. But hopefully I can finally get my first win up here. So good night. Under the traffic lights. Sunday afternoon, 12.36, live from the Oasis in DeKalb, Illinois, because if you're a true Midwesterner, if you stop here, if you're not, then go fuck yourself. <laughs> Obviously, we didn't get it done. We beat the plain white tees and then in racism, at least in the Quad City. So that's for you, Kimo, Pancho, TD, Chewy. You I'm just kidding. Racism? Well, we did our part. Okay. Well, Actually, you said it kind of funny, so I'm just making sure that's I'm what you said. I'm just kidding around. They played, <laughs> they played a great game. They got a lot to be proud of, too, because a lot of them never played 5-on-5. Five five, but we then got assassinated again. I don't know how that happens twice, to get assassinated twice. Usually once you're dead, so. But they did to us again, what, 4-1? Yeah. 5-1, 5-1 of the guy named Emmett. Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. At least so. you guys scored one against him this time. I know there's a lot of chatter already <laughs> about our ranking system and how it works for this tourney up here. I would agree that, yeah, you probably almost need D1, D2 talent for all three lines just to have a good shot at it. But I D5 can't hang in Chicago. <laughs> I so. can't hang a lot of cities. But <laughs> uh, First off, thanks to John Elder and for allowing me and my son to play again. Five on five, we did have a blast. At least I did. Did you, Dylan? Yeah. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Great time. Uh, and just to play on the same team with like Joe Dare and Barry and mm -hmm. Ryan Plum, that's something a lot of people can't say. So and they were all cool to us. You know, they kept it positive when we did a lot of negative things out there at times or <laughs> just slow getting to the ball. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video blog. Please. We're going to make the rest of the drive home and call it a week. And good luck to the remaining teams out there. And, uh, nice seeing a lot of old faces. It's amazing how many faces you see now from like Chicago and that mm -hmm. or there that you know now just because yeah. you played for the NDA. Okay, so. nice Welcome to, uh, yeah, ready to go back play three on three. That's for damn sure. That's more my style. But <laughs> nice try something different. So that's it. OG. This is OG. Peace. Other big D. And. <laughs> the one that spends all of our money. <laughs> all right. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> all right. I'll see you. Thanks. <laughs>